Hey guys, I'm sitting in front of my homemade rock water fountain. I made this about 10 years ago. Um, I needed some repairs earlier today, so let's go back in time and let me show you exactly how this thing works and how it's set up and how you can build one. I guess future me told you that I was gonna fix this and show you how it works. So let me show you how this whole thing works. It's a bunch of gravel and apparently wood chips get thrown in. So I'm gonna empty out. I'm just gonna start pulling out all the gravel. Okay, here you'll just notice uh, this is just a random piece of plastic. And that's just to keep as many rocks out of the base as possible. You can fill this whole thing with rocks, but um, you'll see in a minute. The less rocks you have in there, the more water volume you have, uh, and the less often you actually have to fill that up. The back side kind of have the same thing. But instead of a piece of plastic, I actually have a rock. Same idea. And then I just have one honking piece of sandstone. And it's about two feet long. With nothing, there's a hole in the back. This hose runs up the back side. And if you'll notice in here, all this is a bucket. And it is a, um, you could do a full five gallon bucket. I actually found a two and a half gallon bucket. And then I put a piece of plastic over the top and I just draped it, draped it in. So any water that was outside, it got very minimal. It seeps into the ground. Virtually everything flows directly into this bucket okay you notice right here here's my power cord here's the water line coming out and there's somewhere I can grab this got another random piece of blue plastic this separates even more rocks from falling down on my pump and then I have a piece of that's actually screen from screen door material uh, sitting around it. So pull that out and then to hold up the weight of the rock I have just some random corrugated pipe with holes around the outside and that just kind of holds up the weight of the rock to the height that I want without smashing the pump. Well, I just freed up the pump. It was just, well, you can see, just some crap junk jammed in the end. So, pump's working again. And where do you get a pump? I get these pumps from Harbor Freight. In my very first one, I built this thing close to 10 years ago. And my first pump lasted me probably seven years without ever having to do anything to it. Um, and these pumps are seven bucks or so, six bucks. And this one, it's probably three, four years old. And last year it got jammed up with a little bit of something. That's why I actually dug it up and I put this around it. But apparently it did this year too. So I might wrap it up. A, well, we'll jam it down there again. We'll see. Because it's working great right now. Because it runs non-stop all summer long from freeze to freeze. And just sits down in there and... You know, just sprays up that hose, the cord runs along and runs to an outlet and that goes up to the back of the uh, rock. So to start off, all I did was dig a hole even larger than the bucket, I jammed the bucket down there. It's a little lower than level but it was about level to begin with. Took a piece of a black plastic, just regular black plastic, laid it out and then I just cut slits out to the sides and just draped them over so if any water runs out to the outside it falls in. This metal ring does nothing to, to, from a vintage uh, wooden pipe that's actually wrapped around the entire outside to hold it in. That does nothing more than just keep the gravel in a contained area. Um, but I got my pump and then I have the electrical cord and this is all rated for underwater. And then I just got a piece of, piece of clear PVC tubing, uh, vinyl tubing. And then I'm going to wrap it up in this stuff again. And this is just mesh from a uh, 
from the stuff they use for screen doors or screen windows. I'm just going to wrap that up. It'll keep the, the large stuff out because you can't really control what keeps what comes down in there very much. Um, got some random zip ties on there. Now, again, these pumps are, when you're looking for these, depending on the size of your rock, um, different pumps are rated for different heights. I think this one lifts, uh, I want to say like 2 feet, 21 inches, 24 inches, something to that effect. But I then, to, to space up my rock, I just have these sitting down in there. The pump just sits down in the middle of one of them. Some rocks fall down, that's okay. And to give a barrier, because before, the very first time, my very first version of this, I just filled the whole thing up with gravel. But the problem is you fill a, uh, a you know, a two and a half gallon bucket full of gravel, it only holds a half a gallon of water. And so evaporation, you actually have to fill it up once a week or something to that effect. But the more water you have in there, the less you actually ever have to uh, maintain it or, or fill it up. So take this. And this piece right here, you could just, um, this is just, this was out of a, some sort of organizer thing. Um, this could just be another, another bottom to another bucket or, or something. Put some water in there, you can see it's pumping away. Really nice. So, next comes the big rock. So rock just sits down in there. Then you can see on the back, the hose, I've drilled a hole and that'll wedge up in there tight once I get it all back together, but you can see the water coming out the front. I take my plastic piece I designed for the front to keep as much gravel out of there as possible. hopefully you enjoyed that and you're not limited to a rock like this if you can I was originally planning on using a big chunk of granite but I couldn't drill through it so if you have a big round rock you could drill straight through it and just plug the thing into the bottom and come right up the rock and just bubble out the sides that's probably a more contemporary one that you've seen but thanks for watching if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and share it because grandma wants to see this on Facebook thanks guys see you soon bye